our reading from the book of Luke, The Temptation of Jesus. Filled with the Holy Spirit, Jesus returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit to the desert for 40 days to be tempted by the devil. He ate nothing during those days, and when they were over, he was hungry. The devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, command this stone to become bread. Jesus answered him, It is written, One does not live by bread alone. Then he took him up and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a single instant. The devil said to him, I shall give to you all this power and their glory, for it has been handed over to me, that I may give it to whomever I wish. All this will be yours if you worship me. Jesus said to him in reply, It is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him alone shall you serve. Then he led him to Jerusalem, made him stand on the parapet of the temple, and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down here, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you to guard you, and with their hands they will support you, lest you dash your foot against the stone. Jesus said to him in reply, It also says, You shall not put the Lord, your God, to the test. When the devil had finished every temptation, he departed from him from a top for a time. Hi everyone, I am Julia Maika Igagabo, and I'd like to share the joy of Christ with you today. I learned a new word today. You know what it is? The word is temptation. I remember a time when I was not allowed to go outside to play with my friends because I had to do my homework first. My friends were already outside and they kept on calling me out to play. I was so tempted to go. So what I did was to focus first on finishing my homework, making sure that I did my best while doing it. Then I finally asked permission from my dad if I could go outside because I had already finished my homework. Finally, my dad allowed me to play with my friends. Today, we are reminded that when we are tempted, we have to focus on doing what is right. Just like Jesus has stood strong in saying no to temptation, let's always pray to the Holy Spirit so that when we will be filled with the grace we need to do what is right. Have you prayed up to the Holy Spirit today?